everyone and welcome to my craft room. I'm Leo from inkymemories.co.uk, an independent stamping up demonstrator based in South Wales. And today on this simple Saturday stamping project, we are going to be making some quick and easy cards using the Itty Bitty Birthdays stamp set um, and the Banners Pick a Punch. Um, now this um, stamp set can be found on the annual catalogue on page 107 um, and the Banner Punch is actually from the um, Banner Year Bundle which is in the autumn to December catalogue on page 65. And um, the other thing I'm going to be using today um, is a bit of a cheat. This is the um, Whisper White note cards and envelopes. Now these are pre-cut and scored um, cards, little mini cards you can see here, um, with perfectly sized envelopes included with them as well. And these are a really easy way um, to make mini cards um, and sort of get started making cards without laying out for a lot of different cardstock and envelopes. So let us get started on today's project. Now the first thing that I have done today, um, as this is a simple Saturday project, I have pre-cut myself some strips of cardstock. So you can see here that I have strips in the um, 2020 to 2022 in colours. Um, and I have these sized um, appropriately for the punch. So if I just bring that back in here, you can see the punch has three channels um, on each side um, for the two different shapes. Now these correspond to different sizes. So the first one, the smallest one at the bottom here, um, this is 1.3 centimetres wide or half an inch. Um, the middle one then is 1.9 centimetres wide or three quarters of an inch. And then the top one is um, 2.5 centimetres wide or one inch. And all I've done is cut some pieces of cardstock um, at the 1.3 um, and 1.9 centimetre width. Um, so that's the sort of smallest and medium size for the punch. And I've done that in a range of the in colours and then also one piece in Whisper White. And the first thing I am going to do is just punch all of these out. So using the um, chevron end here of the Banners Pick a Punch, I'm literally just going to feed my cardstock in and you'll see it sits nicely in this channel for you and then just punch. And I'm going to do this to all of the pieces of cardstock that I have here. Okay, there we go. That is all of our pieces of cardstock punched and ready to go. So next thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of colour um, onto the background of our card. And what I have are the um, stamping blends um, in the in colours as well. Um, so this is only there's only four of these. Um, Bumblebee isn't represented in stamping blends. Um, so I'm just going to make a quick background using these and using the um, brush tip. And what I've done is pick out just the light um, version of each of these colours from the combo packs. So using the brush tip, I'm literally just going to brush on some colour to the front of my card. I'm not going to blend these at all, I'm leaving them just as um, solid blocks of colour. And we don't need to do this particularly neatly, some of the brush strokes um, will add to the project that we're doing today. Go and then just magenta madness to do. Now magenta madness, when you first put this on, as you'll see, um, is a really bright neon pink, and it seems to not um, sort of sit with the rest of the colours that I've put down here. But as it dries, it does fade. It becomes much more dusky. Um, so don't panic when you first um, colour that one. Um, I'm going to now leave this to one side to allow this all to dry nicely and we will do some stamping um, on these pieces that we've just punched. So what I've done um, is bring in a bunch of different sentiments from the stamp set. Um, if I pull this in so you can have a closer look, um, as you can see there are lots and lots and lots of different sort of ways to say happy birthday on here um, and birthday related sentiments and all I've done is just pick out um, some of them and mount them onto clear blocks ready to stamp here and um, as so you can see I have quite a few and all I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do one first of all on the whisper white cardstock and I'm going to use just the very simple happy birthday stamp for this one and I'm going to stamp this in misty moonlight so I'm just going to lightly tap my stamp onto the ink to make sure I've got that all nicely inked up Line up my cardstock on my grid paper so I know I'm working to straight lines. 
and then line this up and press it straight down and then lift straight back up and there is our happy birthday sentiment so I'm going to pop that to one side and then carry on stamping um, a range of these other sentiments onto the pieces of cardstock that I've pre-cut and punched um, in their corresponding colours. So I'm going to take Misty Moonlight and this one that says can't believe you're another year older. I don't think any of us can ever believe um, that we're another year older when birthdays roll around. How does it go so quickly? So let's stamp this one down onto here. So just straight down and straight back up. And there's that one done. And then I'm just going to keep doing exactly the same, choosing some of these sentiments, stamping them down onto this cardstock, and then we will carry on. all of our sentiments stamped um, onto our pieces of cardstock. That was really nice and easy. So now it's time to assemble our card. So I'm going to bring back in the base and as you can see this has started to dull down really nicely. I'm going to fold the card base along the score line and just burnish that to help it stay folded. I'm going to bring in some liquid glue um, to glue these pieces together but first of all I'm going to arrange them um, until I'm happy with the sort of layout on here. So it's just a question of pulling in your strips, um, giving them sort of different lengths on the card as well and arranging all of the different sentiments together. I think I'm happy with that and if you line up your um, card base onto your grid paper you can then use the grids to help make sure that you are gluing these down um, nice and straight onto your card front so you don't end up with them all at a bit of an angle. So I'm now going to just using my liquid glue glue all of these strips onto the base of my card so I'll start with the top one. I'm just going to put a small amount of liquid glue onto the back and pop it into place on my card front. Again, just using my grid paper to make sure that I've got that nicely lined up on there. There we go. And then I will continue to glue these in. pieces in place on our card front and this is a really great card um, to make multiples of um, as I often say there are three types of cards that I always need in my craft room birthday cards thank you cards and Christmas cards um, they are the cards that I make most often and I always try and find um, a design that I can multiply when I am making those types of cards so with this you could absolutely cut out um, and punch out lots of different strips, stamp them all in one go um, and then just use them on a bunch of different card fronts to make more than one of this card at one time. So all I've done there is just flip the card over and cut right the way along the edge to cut all of those pieces of cardstock off and I'll just get rid of those. And then finally, just to decorate our card front a little bit, what I have here um, are the corresponding in color enamel dots. I'm just gonna place some of these across the front of my card. So I shall grab my take a pick tool um, and using the pointy end as always to help me get the um, enamel dots off the backing paper there. 
and I'm just going to scatter these over, oh, not that one apparently, <laughs> scatter these over the front of my card, just to add a little bit of added dimension. There we go, that's better. Let's pop that over the top. No. So I'm going to use one in each of the um, colours. So one in just jade, I'm going to pop up here. And we have the beautiful misty moonlight. And I'm going to pop that one up here. And we have cinnamon cider. Which I'm going to add over here. And last but not least, the lovely bumblebee. Which I'm going to pop just there. Oh, now I have noticed one thing that we have missed here. Any of you that have seen my previous videos will know that I don't like to leave my envelopes naked. So let's have a look. We shall take the, uh, where is it gone? If I can find it. <laughs> uh, there we go, time to celebrate stamp. And I'll grab the ink pad that I used for that. And all I'm going to do is just pop this stamp down on the corner of my envelope just like that. And then you know that the party starts on the outside of the envelope um, when that lands on the doormat. There we go, that is our finished card on this simple Saturday stamping video and I hope you have enjoyed this one. A nice simple card like I said and definitely one that you could make more than one of at one time. Now the um, itty bitty birthday stamp set is not the only one in this series, um, there are also a couple of others. So that was the itty bitty birthdays and I've also done a similar card using the itty bitty Christmas stamp set. If I just grab that here so you can see that one. A very similar concept in this. Um, as you can see a whole bunch of different mini um, Christmas sentiments. Um, that are really great for especially this type of card. Christmas cards again being another one of those ones that I like to multiply whenever I'm making them. Um, but these also work really nicely for making mini tags um, for Christmas and Christmas gifts. Um, all kinds of different things that you can do with these. So I've done a very similar thing. I've used a couple of um, different red and green blend pens um, in the background for this one and then different red and green cardstock and just stamped some of those sentiments on there in exactly the same way. I finished off then using the red rhinestone basic jewels and you'll notice that this um, card base is actually in very vanilla and the note cards and envelopes also come in very vanilla as well as whisper white and so you do have a lot of options. And there are my finished cards for today. So I hope you have enjoyed this very quick, um, simple Saturday stamping video. If you have, please do give the video a like, give it a thumbs up, let me know you've watched it and enjoyed the project and consider subscribing to my channel so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. All of the products used in today's video are available through my store with Stamping Up and there'll be a link in the description box below to that so you can shop directly with me if you want to get hold of any of these products um, and have a go at this project yourself. If you're based in the UK um, and you don't currently have a demonstrator and you'd like a copy of our physical catalogues, um, there is a link in the description box below to the web form on my website where you can request that and I'll get those straight out into the post to you. If you have any questions or comments um, about the products that I've used today, the projects that I've made or about stamping up in general, um, pop those into the comments box below. I would be happy to help you out. Thank you again for joining me in my craft room today and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.